Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Today I am using a sketch that was created for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. The sketch is by Laura Whitaker and we used this in one of the um, fall scrap parties that we had online. Now normally I don't create my layouts based on sketches. Um, for some reason I've always found it more difficult to use a sketch than to scrap lift somebody. But uh, this one came together really easily and the sketch was just beautiful. Laura did a great job on it and it was, it was just a lot of fun to put together. Now the photos that I'm using today are of my daughter and my cousin's daughter. We went to a family camp for Cub Scouts with uh, my son's pack way back in the, I think it was like fall of 2006 or 2005. And, um, one of the nights they have a Jiffy Pop popcorn popping contest. All of the kids get a uh, container with, you know, the Jiffy Pop and they get to cook it themselves. And then they also have a taste testing contest. So some of the pack leaders get together and they have their chef's hats on and they taste the popcorn to see how good it is and, you know, who, who uh, popped the biggest bundle of popcorn because you know those Jiffy Pop things they expand quite a bit and then um, maybe see who burnt their popcorn anyway it's a ton of fun the kids had a blast doing it and um, it it's popcorn is one of our favorite snacks anyway so it just it was just tons of fun it's something that we don't normally do when we go camping on our own so it was a nice treat I'm using paper from Bow Bunny's Take a Hike collection and almost all of the layouts for this particular camping trip um, were done using this paper and I really like that it has um, some bright colors in it like the blues and the yellows but it also has those muted browns and greens it's very outdoorsy and it just it it just fit the photos perfectly now since these two photos um, have my daughter and my cousin's daughter in them. I went ahead and used the orange lace and the um, doily. And I mean, I'm not really against using that on a boy layout, but um, I thought it just went perfectly on this. I might have, if it was a photo of my son, I might have used some paper and put kind of a boyish bordery edge on it um, in place of the orange lace. But uh, it looks great and I, I really like it. To adhere that doily down, I'm using some deluxe adhesive from Tonic Studios. I think it's very similar to their funky glue that they sell, which I think is a little bit cheaper, but um, you know, I like both. They both seem to work well, and I, I've been finding that I've been using more wet glue or wet adhesive lately on um, my layouts than um, I would have in the past. But it's great for the fine detailed stuff like that doily. You can't really run your um, ATG gun over that without ripping it. So it works out really well and it dries clear. So I'm also using some brown ink to ink all of those edges. And that's just some uh, Versa Magic ink. I think it's, I, th I want to say the color is umber. Don't quote me on that, but it's just a brown um, and kind of makes everything stand out and pop. And what I'm doing here is um, with the edges of the baker's twine, I just put a little bit of that glue on my fingers and I rolled it on the ends so that the baker's twine does not unravel um, once it's on the layout. An alternative to using that glue to um, hold your ends of the baker's twine or ribbon to keep them from unraveling, uh, sometimes I dip them in Mod Podge and if I really want things to kind of sparkle, I have that glitter Mod Podge and that works well as well. Um, I've used that like on a lot of banners and whatnot to give the uh, ribbon a little extra sparkle. Now I have pulled out a few packages of thickers that I'm um, using for all of the layouts in this, um, for this trip, this camping trip. And so these ones I got, um, I, you know, I'm not even sure where I got them from, uh, and I don't even know the name of the font. I could look that up if you're really interested. Just leave me a comment down below and I'll let you know. But I thought it was kind of a funky font, and um, 
I, I'm not sure what drew me to using it. I, I like the color on top of the dark green. The light green worked out really well. And so the title of the layout is Jiffy Pop. And so I just spelled the word Jiffy with it. And then the word Pop is out of the little tile stickers that came in the Take a Hike collection. And all of the ephemera and um, embellishments like the buttons and everything that are on this layout came from that type, Take a Hike collection and it all works perfectly together because that's what it's designed for but I thought it would make it a lot easier for me since I have a ton of layouts to do for this particular trip and um, it would just give it a nice cohesive look so I just stuck with using the whole collection together and uh, okay I just got finished saying that all of the embellishments came from the Take a Hike collection um, the washi tape and the baker's twine did not come from that collection so uh, washi tape we all have a ton of it and um, if you don't it's pretty easy to get your hands on I just used a, a mustard um, colored washi tape that has a leaf pattern on it and then um, the baker's twine um, was just in the packaging uh, package of multicolor baker's twine from Michaels and then there are some leaves here that I'm tucking in and I made those using a piece of paper from the Take a Hike collection and a leaf stamp that I had with some uh, India ink and acrylic paint mixed up and that is that process is shown in another video I believe it's the video called Raising the Flag if you're interested in seeing that um, you can go over there and take a look at that one And I can go ahead and link that video down below. Uh, also, the doily was cut out with a die that I have from Tonic Studios. So um, I, I quit buying a ton of, of doilies. I just use a die for the most part. Um, and then I do have some that come in my kits. So uh, that's where I get the doilies from. And you can see there, there's the leaves that were stamped on that um, white, well, cream color pattern paper. So I've used them on a couple of different layouts for this particular trip. And again, that's just drawing everything to be um, cohesive with each other when you flip through the album. I have some cheap craft foam there from Walmart. It is adhesive on one side and I am sticking it underneath the tips of each of the leaves to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm using that same liquid adhesive just to stick it down. The adhesive actually dries fairly fast and so you don't have to sit there and hold things for a long period of time and I really like that about it. My other favorite liquid glue is um, Crystal Lacquer from Sakura but it does not dry clear. Um, it, it dries clear but it leaves a sheen, a glossy sheen. So um, I have started using more of the tonic one for anything that I think is going to be visible. Um, or might you know squish out from underneath um, but the uh, the crystal lacquer works super well nothing ever falls off with it and actually you can make your own embellishments out of it um, if you want to you know squirt enough down onto the top of something it'll dry like plastic it's a lot like crystal effects or crystal lacquer oh, I'm sorry glossy accents so crystal lacquer is a lot like glossy accents in that way. So um, we're almost to the end of the video here. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. It's the red button down below. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate your time and thank you so much for watching. And stick around for the close-ups. They're coming up in just a few seconds here. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.